I arrive after nine years in Bishkek, where I meet Amanat again. <laughs> who I worked together back in the days. While he wanted to make a trip over the mountains, who he's seeing since he is born. Him accuse the idea to go for this hike with me. Because I'm traveling as backpacker since 20 months and have also the equipment to do this. His wife Aika and his sister Zima are also interested to go for this hell of an adventure. In my head turning different questions when I listen to Amarat plans. We have four days for a trip who's close to 100 kilometers, 2600 meters up and 3400 meters down. The highest point will be 3,778 over sea level. The estimated time is 26 hours and 50 minutes. With the information in my head, I watch how Amanat is preparing for our trip. He got some equipment from Germany when he was there on holiday. But unfortunately, it's quite heavy and when he asks me for advice, it's really difficult because I don't know what to answer because I don't want to be demotivation because I know the budget is more a small one what will be torture but lucky I don't know this at this point we prepare food for these days so we got ready to go but now we need to take a taxi and then we will take the Mashrutka further to the other side of the mountains where we go to this side back to Tokmok. You ready? <laughs> but he's not coming with us. We are only four. They buy a tent for 40 euros, 3,400 som. And we pick up Zima and bring the son Ariette to a friend of them. It's pure stress finding a good price and handle all the other things well. Like this four guys who come after we put our backpacks on the bench and claim that they want to sit there and we should take down the backpacks. It definitely frustrated me because it's just not the right moment yeah. to be so picky about the place and I felt like they were searching for this confrontation. With the taxi it goes out of the crowded city. While we are driving I think a lot about the next days. My maps didn't show any snow but this video comes in my head what went viral just some weeks ago from a big avalanche in Kyrgyzstan. We arrive in Kochkor. From there I managed to get a good price for 10 euros. We will be brought 60 kilometers west to the last village, Jong Alish. Yeah, so we got a taxi driver and now we go as close to the mountains as we can go. And from there we will go by feet and see what we will see. <laughs> and how good we are prepared for the weather and for the yeah, next days and see if we can make it in four days. Even if it was stressful, we are so happy that we finally start and not sitting at home anymore. The anticipation for the unknown grows. When we pack everything out of the car, it's blowing a really strong wind. Now we need to fix all the gear on the backpacks because Amanat and Aika, their sleeping stuff was held in the hands before. Mirko is fast, putting it on their backpack Ready. will not be a good idea. That these concerns are more than justified will already be seen in two days. But to see the smile on every face makes me hopeful and lets me think the good. I love the wind, it gives the feeling of being alive and being back in the wild nature. I can see it is a good start, even when death is closer than we think. The first adjustment need to be made, but this is normal, I know how much I changed over my last 20 months of traveling. And an invitation to sleep by one of the farmers doesn't stay away either. Since we have this strict time plan, we politely decline and continue and let the beautiful high mountain range affect us. It was already afternoon when we arrived with the taxi, why the evening is now not far away. 
The horses are also on their way home and we pitch the tent perfectly before the rain comes. Good morning, it's day one and we completed the first night and the first day of hiking. So yesterday was a good day, but we didn't make so much, so only 10 kilometers. We found this beautiful sleeping place here in the back, but today we will see who will continue to walk further and how far we can come, because we need to come like in four or five days to Tokmok, like the other side of the mountain. And yeah, I think today one of us will already leave, so we, we are only three more people and then tomorrow, yeah, it's only us three and yeah, I hope we can do it and just a statement for today and then tomorrow or well, this evening I make another one. See you then and let's go and have some breakfast. <laughs> We get ready, bring everything in the sun, what got clammy and build the colorful carpet on the field. The weather is good, what you take for granted really fast. So we have like a lot of food, what we need to eat today. We have like the pasta with like a bolognese sauce and then this from yesterday we got in on the car ride. We have chai and we had coffee and after this food we will go to the dry food and not so delicious one but I think nobody knows this yet <laughs> but uh, if you are hungry then it doesn't matter so much so now we need to eat a lot so we have not so much weight with us and this will be nice because every day it gets less and less and this is better and better yeah now we will have breakfast and then see which decision we do for the day so we are ready and we decided to go all four people to come with us. <laughs> so we will try to hitchhike 10 kilometers and because then from there is no car driving anymore. So we try now to get maybe a lift and then it will be not so much to walk for everybody today. And Zima, she also decided to come with us and Everything's fine, looking fine, so that's good. And I hope this will be all working well and no issues. It doesn't take long and I can see that the first walking day is still pulling on the motivation and the energy level. Lucky as we are, we get a ride with the livestock truck. It's nice, nice to see the nature without concentrating on something else. try to buy some kefir and kimis or other products from the local people who are living in the yurts, but they brought everything already to the collection point. In my thoughts I tried to analyze the situation of our group because over my long period of backpacking I gave away a lot of my demands. What would help me now to understand better my group? The communication is also not good enough to have serious conversations to everybody. Only Amanat, he speaks uh, German and my Russian is only for daily conversations enough. At least everybody accepted the water up here in the mountains. Where I got quite unscrupulous from where I take it. Because 
you need to take where you get. We decide to make more small breaks where we can cool down, collect more energy out of our forgotten areas to continue our hike on the highest point on this journey. Also it gets colder up here and our bodies show signals of exhaustion. We see in the distance a herd of yaks but we need to continue, the hardest part is still waiting of us. Aika has the most difficulties how I have seen so far. Amanat uh, tries to show motivation so that we don't go in this downward spiral. I also take more weight off my shoulders because we function like a chain. If one doesn't walk, we are all broke. <laughs> so they take the shortcut, I take the long way because I like to have my pace the whole time through. So I think it's a lot for the other people to walk so much because they're not used to. But now I have also some luggage from them and it's also exhausting for me. But I hope we can make it because I feel like the mood is not too good. Not too good. Amanat carries already two backpacks and I can feel that the air also gets thinner and you need to breathe more often. It gets really beautiful where the clouds are whipping around us. The view is changing every minute. Zima and I climbing further. on the mountain oh it's like only some meters left and then we are there <laughs> I was shortly I thought we would not make it today but we need it because there's nothing where we could sleep so we need to go on the peak and this is our sleeping place for today I see that I underestimated how much Aika suffered from the unusual activity we try as fast as possible to keep her warm with our sleeping bags and warm tea, making sandwiches. And yeah, everybody of us is hungry already. Also up here, there's no water anymore. At least my avalanche worries are not reasonable anymore. It is maybe 10 degrees up here, but food is firing the human furnace. When I see Aika watching out <laughs> of the tent, I'm relieved because she looks much better, much better than when we arrived. So it's beautiful, but it's windy cold and not a nice place to sleep because it's really a lot of storm and yeah but this is how it is and now we have to keep this and keep going our mood is not really identifiable it's beautiful up here but we are tired and uh, tense as the night falls the day comes to an end it had frozen in the night and everything goes so fast in the morning. This day will be the longest day of all. It's good that nobody knows the future. I think I wouldn't have started this day with knowing where this goes. Good morning. And the night was not so good. Amanat was throwing up the whole night. The girls are also doing not so good. I'm quite okay, just need some water. We'll maybe come in seven kilometers and hope we will reach today. Like the warmer area, because up here it's quite cold and, yeah, and we will not go to the lake because everybody is a little bit, phew, the air is out, I feel like. But yeah, we will see how we manage the next two days at least, because this is how long we need to come down to the next village where we can go home. Bye. And yeah, now we will make some good hot tea. So I think everybody is dehydrated because we had not so much water. And in the morning came a guy who take, took like some of our water because he needed water also. 
and yeah so now this is really good i think it's good to get everybody back to to life we reach the first water and make as much tea and coffee so everybody gets enough water in his system i'm worried about amanat i can see that he has to fight with all the side effects of losing so much fluid also i start to have difficulties to keep motivation for everybody i don't know if you went hiking before but there are many emotions many comes up who were hidden over the time also new ones come up who were never in your mind it's a healing process and learning what doesn't implement that it's fun. The way we choose is the right direction because the most beauty will come in the last part of our hike. You will not die on the track but on the shortcuts. <laughs> These are my thoughts when the abyss occurs in front of me. While we are slowly manage to make step for step carefully the cows chew the cut and watching us. By car is such a way only minutes, but hiking makes it to a whole different experience. I like to compare it with meditation because what you actively do is not the part where your consciousness is. It flows into visual appearance and or in your thoughts. Much more protected it feels when we reach the tree line. I said once, the most beauty will come. What I don't know, because I think the energy of everybody is not enough to go to the extra 10 kilometers to the Lake Költer with also 1000 meter ascending altitude. I'm not wrong with my thoughts as not everybody from us will make it. When we get a car ride, motivation comes to go also to the lake. <laughs> And to come closer, we pay another local dude to drive us further up. We definitely don't know what is in front of us. I see the sun is disappearing behind the mountains. I look on the map and see the kilometers only five more till the lake. We walked already 30 kilometers so far, when we passing the last yurts. Now the difficult part comes. It gets dark really fast, we have only one lamp and one strong torch. Also the most energy is spent and our progress is slowly. The river is loud and scary, I see not much. Every step can be endure a lot and my shadow steals me the vision of my path. I told in the beginning that our gear is not the proper hiking gear, for which reason simple water courses can be a difficult task. I keep the lamps in energy saving mode. Who knows how long we will need. We discuss our situation and decide to pitch the tent two kilometers before our planned destination. To finish the day with a happy end, we light and fire and make some marshmallows drink and beer of our achievements. Sun and horses are already on the run when we open our eyes for another day, which we will not finish together. Tea and breakfast before we hit the road of our last two kilometers. I like the most trees landscape, but the ascending altitude is not to underestimate. We're coming to the end like it's just 100 meters 200 meters more and then we are done and yeah we'll see everybody's really exhausted and it's not the best mood anymore more but i hope when we're up there will change and it's beautiful here but a lot to carry i thought actually yeah when i saw what they have for equipment i thought they would yeah i didn't want to say anything because like it's expensive to buy new ones and good ones but that i have to carry this is, was not in my expectation but it doesn't make sense to put this on the backpacks on them because the backpacks are not so good and here we are here we are 
And I think today we go back and also home to Bishkek. That's it. So see you at the lake. Every step shows you more of this turquoise color and the color reflects the temperature. It's ice cold. When I jump in, I feel how my muscles getting tight and to cool down this short dip was already enough. After one, two hours, we realized that Amanat and Aika didn't reach the lake and we assumed that they went home. We paddle out of the lake and experience the feeling of being nothing and everything. Achieving our goals completes our sense of achievement and we are ready to go back to Bishkek. Aika struggled with foot pain, why they decided to travel home earlier. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you liked this backpacking story. And I would say, see you in my next one. Bye-bye.